Myanmar's junta has extended the country's state of emergency by another six months and this could likely delay elections that the military had pledged to hold in August. In a state media address, Myanmar's acting president said that the emergency will be extended for another six months starting from the 1st of February. The state of emergency was due to expire at the end of January. But on Tuesday, junta chief admitted that more than a third of the country's townships are not under full military control. On the second anniversary of the military coup, the junta called the National Defence and Security Council meet to discuss the state of the nation and concluded that it has not yet returned to normalcy. The state of emergency was initially declared in February 2021 when the military ousted Aung San Suu Kyi government. The country's constitution states that an emergency can be declared for an initial period of one year and can normally be extended for a maximum of two and a half year terms. Denouncing the emergency extension, the United States said that it strongly is opposed to the decision by Myanmar's junta, which has prolonged the military's illegitimate rule and the suffering it inflicts upon the country. Meanwhile, hundreds of demonstrators in Bangkok gathered in front of the Myanmar embassy, raising three fingers to symbolize liberty, equality and fraternity. This also showed photos of ousted Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi. For more on this, we're now being joined by Ben Dunant. Dunant is journalist and editor at Myanmar Frontier and Myanmar Specialist. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Uh, hello, it's very nice to be here. My first question to you, the junta has extended the state of emergency by another six months. How do you assess this move? Do you see this just as a pretext for delaying elections further? Um, I think what's important to say is that this decision to extend the state of emergency and then inevitably to uh, postpone the election represents a humiliating failure for the military chief. Um, holding, a, uh, holding an election does not represent any kind of concession uh, or a softening of military rule. Rather, its objective is to uh, en uh, entrench military rule. The, uh, the, the kind of election that they want to hold that they want to hold is one in which uh, the real opposition is effectively banned and concessions are such where the military's own proxy party can basically win and then uh, dominate parliament um, and therefore give a sort of a civilian uh, veneer to military rule that the junta then hopes will hmm. be acceptable for uh, many other countries in the region to uh, fully normalize diplomatic ties. Um, so the fact that he's had to postpone this actually represents a humiliating failure and is a testament to the strength of the democratic resistance within the country. All right. That being said, the junta chief also admitted that a third of the townships are not under full military control. So what do you make of the statement? How does this serve as a basis to extend the state of emergency? Well, in its own, in the media outlets that it controls, the ministry has tried to uh, present an image of calm of, you know, a country that is largely uh, returned to normal after the uh, mass uh, protests of 2021. So an acknowledgement that the ministry has actually lost control um, over quite large areas of the country does uh, represent a, a reality dawning um, to some extent. It is true that you know, lots of new uh, resistance armed groups have formed since the coup, and they've been successful in uh, denying the military proper control over many rural areas. And this resistance is very entrenched, and the military has tried uh, to crush it through very brutal means, through uh, campaigns of arson and murder. But um, although it has inflicted a lot of damage, it is fair, it is failed to fully crush uh, the resistance that, you know, continues to have very, very few guns, no real international support, but is very uh, resilient and is, you know, preventing um, the conditions that are uh, necessary for uh, actually uh, holding an election. All right. Now, this is, of course, drawn condemnation as well. The United States has strongly opposed this decision. Can we expect any practical changes? What options do the people of Myanmar have? 
Well, the simple fact is the people in Myanmar are effectively uh, on their own. You know, you've had many uh, strongly worded statements from the US and many other Western countries and some regional countries too, uh, you know, that that uh, denounce the military junta, uh, denounce their plan for an election, um, as well as the continuation of military rule. However, these are largely just words. And uh, although I think many countries, particularly in the West, have given um some you know more informal kinds of support for the resistance um what the resistance really needs is more material support so it can uh fight back better but this is um unlikely to happen it hasn't happened so far so uh, and that's led to a lot of uh frustration within the country they see the international uh support for the um ukrainian government in the context of the uh, Russian invasion of the country, and they think, well, even if we get, you know, one percent of that international uh, support, then we might stand a uh, fighting chance. But it seems like um, for many of the Western countries that are putting out these uh, strongly worded statements, it will largely, largely rest there. All right, Mr. Dunan, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast with all your insights on this. Uh, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.